Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to tonight's yoga practice or today's yoga practice if you're watching the replay. My name is Camilla and I will be guiding your yin yoga practice today. So it is a 40 minute practice and we will be holding the positions from two to five minutes in the body just to allow the body time and space to relax and release and really restore the energies uh, in the body. Good evening, good evening guys, great to see you. So I'm just gonna uh, give a little moment just for everyone to arrive and prepare your yoga mat for today. For tonight you can also place a blanket on the yoga mat. We will do some asanas dragons today on our knees so it's good to prepare something soft underneath the knees. You can also have a towel handy or an extra blanket uh, which you will place under the knee if you choose to. Bolster will be um, very welcome tonight as well and a block or else a book with the thick cover. So get organized and if you're here early you can always use this time just to sit down relax and start to drop into your center, into your body. Lovely. Lovely, so we will get started. So we will do our centering practice um, today in the first asana, which will be supported child's pose, or else your version of the child's pose. We will stay in this asana for five minutes, so nice time to really allow ourselves to um, drop into the body and release everything from the day. And this is where we will also set an intention for the practice. So you can use the bolster if you choose to. I will be using the bolster for this, um, for this pose today. And you will place the bolster between your knees and pull your body over on the bolster. So your right ear will be resting on the bolster. So it is a very restorative way of starting the practice. So we'll stay here for five minutes and first for first half one ear will be on the bolster and for the second half the other ear will be on the bolster. So you can get comfortable here and your hands can be resting either holding the bolster, embracing gently or alongside your body. So whatever feels good for you for tonight. And really settle, settling into your first shape for tonight. At any time, if you need to move out of the uh, out of the shape because you experience sharp sensations or pain please do otherwise stay for the entire duration of the time and really allow the body to open up bringing your intention into your practice. This is a beautiful thing about yoga that 
if we practice every day, we get to set new intentions or strengthen the intentions we already have. So it can support us, this power of intention. Breathing in and out through the nose. The breath flows through your body naturally, spontaneously. So really dropping into your comfortable space. into the space where you can explore your physical sensations, emotional sensations, your thoughts and energy. Beautiful. And now you can turn the other ear on to the bolster, just to have it nice and balanced on each side. So really allowing the body to open up. being completely held by the floor, by all the support you're using. Excellent. Just taking a few more nice long breaths in here, into your lower back, into your hips. One more breath. Nice. And now press into your hands. You can bring the bolster to the side, push it to the side. And go into tabletop position. So hands are underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath the hips and we will go into a few cat cows, so flexing and arching your spine with the breath. So arch your spine, inhale through the heart, bring your head up, exhaling through the back and curling the spine towards the ceiling, pressing into your hands and into your knees. Inhale, arch your back, lift your head. Exhale, curl your spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, arch your back, opening the heart, opening the head towards the ceiling. Exhaling, curling the back towards the ceiling. 
pin here. And exhale. Pin here. And exhale. Beautiful. And now sit on your heels for a moment. Just nice and soft. Close your eyes. So just waking up the body gently or else winding down. Lovely. Now we will go into shoulder opening. So you will go into again tabletop position and here we'll start with opening and lengthening the right shoulder, right arm all the way up and now treading the needle underneath your left arm starting to bring your whole body down so the right ear goes on the floor the hips are lifted towards the ceiling and we'll stay here for three minutes so nice beautiful opening of your right shoulder and here your left palm can be beside your head or you can also lengthen your left arm in front. So this way you'll work with two shoulders at the same time in a different way. So see what is accessible, what is possible in the body. And allowing the breath to guide you through the asana. And really dropping into the space of exploring the sensations in the body. This really gives you an opportunity to release the tension, the pressure from the shoulders. And just allowing this passive stretch to open up those parts of the body. Breathing here in and out through the nose. Knowing that at every moment when you feel sharp sensations in the body, this is the indication to come out of the asana. And you can enter it again, finding a different edge, playing a different threshold in the body, or else just set it out. And taking one more breath in here. Love. 
lovely. And pushing yourself gently up one more time into tabletop position. So hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Inhale, open your heart to the front, opening, lengthening your head up. Exhale, curl your spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, arch your back, open your head, open your throat. Exhale, curl your back towards the ceiling. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale. Point your spine towards the ceiling. Lovely. And coming back to the tabletop position one more time. Excellent. So we'll do the same on the other side for three minutes one more time. So opening the left shoulder, left arm all the way up and bringing the head through the space under the right arm. So your left shoulder here goes all the way down and so is your left ear. So here see where your right hand will be positioned. So it either will rest beside your head, that's okay to do that, or you can lengthen your right arm all the way to the front. So settle here, breathe, inhaling and exhaling through the nose naturally, spontaneously. And just going into the sensations with no judgment, observing them. And feeling them changing. This is the beauty of the yin yoga practice. So we can really allow time for the body to open. And at times it can be really nice and feel very good in the body, but other times it might feel a little bit not comfortable or else achy. So discomfort and achiness are natural in this practice. Pain is not, so you need to find a difference between one and the other and differentiate it for yourself. to modify the postures or modify the shape depending on your own unique sensation in the body.
Beautiful. And taking one last breath in here. Nice. And coming back up into a tabletop position. And so here, inhale and arch your back, look to the front, lift your head. Exhale, curl your spine towards the ceiling, chin towards your chest. Inhale. Expand your chest, lift your head. Exhale, curl your spine towards the ceiling. Breathe in and out through the nose. Inhale. Expand. Exhale. Release. Beautiful. And now sitting down on your heels one more time. And bring the hands on your thighs. Breathing in and out through the nose. Allowing the energy to shift, move. So this is the moment in those moments in between the shapes we're making. This is the moment when you may feel that the body is doing its work. And this is natural. It won't last too long. And it will certainly benefit the whole body with more space, more spaciousness and places which feel more flexible and open. So the mobility in the body will improve over time greatly. Beautiful. Now we will go into a back bend. We will go into a sphinx pose with the support of the block. The block will be used underneath your head. So we'll be able to rest our neck completely. So we're gonna go on to the belly. And here you can decide on the height of your sphinx. So sphinx, like the beautiful mythical creature, um, guarding the pyramids. <laughs> so he's resting there. So we will be resting as well. His head is lifted. Our head will be resting on the block if you can, or a book, or else you can rest like a sphinx with your head up. So we will stay here for three minutes. So really allow yourself to find a comfortable edge. So we're working here into the sacral and lumbar spine. So our lower back, compressing the lower back. So creating this compressor, compression to improve mobility, to improve the blood, blood flow in this area of your body so here see if you can relax completely your legs and your buttocks and see if you are holding any tension in other areas of your body so really Settling here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Allowing the breath to travel freely through your body. And just tuning in to the sensations. What are the sensations? It's 
also here if you would like to intensify whatever you're feeling you can also bend your knees so that will create a deep, deeper back bend Breathing. Naturally, spontaneously. Taking, taking three more cycles of breath through the whole body. So full inhale and full exhale. Wonderful. And so you can release the block, release your legs if you have them bent, and place your head over your hands. Breathing. So allowing this moment to reset the changes in the body, come back to the neutral sensations. And just observing how is your body feeling. <clears throat> through the nose. Beautiful. And now just for a moment, push yourself up and go into a child's pose, extended child's pose. We won't stay here for too long. This is just our transition. So just allowing the back to come back to the neutral sensation. Beautiful. And now coming onto your knees and we will go into a baby dragon. So we will bring, we'll start with the right leg first. We will bring the right leg to the front and here looking back over our left shoulder and aligning the ankle with the knee and the knee with the hip. So here, this is the moment when you will need your extra cushioning under the knee. And we will bring the hands in front. So here opening our right hip, opening the left quad, quads, and breathing into the sensation. So we'll stay here for two minutes. Not too long tonight, so. 
just explore, experience the sensation. So it's really, really good for our hips. If we're sitting a lot or walking, this is a really, really good hip opener. Breathing in and out. I'm trying to find stillness in the shape. But if you need to move at any time, adjust anything in the body, please do. So breathing in and out through the nose. Wonderful. Taking one more cycle of breaths through the whole body. Inhale and an exhale. Lovely. And now bring the weight of your body back and he'll land on your heel. So opening, stretching the right leg in the back of the right leg. Beautiful. And now bring the legs beside each other and we will go into the left side dragon so bringing the left leg in front of you and really launching here to the right leg and here look over your right shoulder and see if the ankle is aligned with the knee and the knee is aligned with your hip we'll stay here for two minutes one more time And really launching into your into your legs and seeing if four corners of your front foot can be connecting with the floor. And breathing into all the sensations you are feeling in your body right now. I'm taking class breath in here. Lovely. And bringing your waist back and bringing your toes up. So stretching the left leg. So the back of the left leg. I'm 
and just for a nice bar balance to create equilibrium. Beautiful. And now bringing your leg back, sitting on your heels with the hands on your thighs. Allowing the breath to travel through your body naturally. Beautiful. So we'll go into lying on the back. And we'll go into twists in the body. So twist on the left and on the right side. So bringing the, so bending the knees, bringing your feet on the floor, you have two options. So you can either go into an easy twist, so opening your arms to your sides and bringing your knees to your left side first, or, or else you can go into a twisted root. So you can bring your right leg over your left, lifting your pelvis slightly and bringing it to the right side and bringing your legs towards your left. And here you can gaze towards the right side of the body. And breathing in and out through the nose. Really opening the back. I'm just seeing if two shoulders can rest on the floor in here. Playing your edge, finding the place in the body. We can feel sensations and staying present to them. Never pushing beyond your limits or close to your limits. Simply and coming back to the center, bringing your legs to the center, releasing the twisted root if you had your legs in this position and bringing your spine neutral on the floor first before we go into the other side. And just feeling the sensations in your body and here choosing the version you will version of the twist you will do for tonight so you can either bring your knees to your sides to your right side allow your head to turn to your left or you can bring your left leg over your right lift your pelvis to your left and twisting your legs to the right side Breathing in and out through the nose. And 
so it's okay here if the knees are hovering a little bit above the floor you can also use a block or a bolster or a blanket to put underneath your knees if they don't reach the floor so using the props using the support for your body whenever you feel you need it or learning listening to your body what your body may need at this moment And taking a last breath in here. And coming back with your legs to the center, bringing your spine on the floor. Nice and flat. Lovely. And here, bringing your knees towards your chest, bringing your head towards your knees. Squeezing them nice and tight. And releasing your legs down, all the way down, opening your ankles so they flip to, to the sides, opening the palms of your hands up towards the ceiling into Shavasana, your final relaxation for tonight. Allow all the changes to integrate in your body. Now just for a moment, as you inhale, imagine that you're inhaling white light into your body. White light as the color of the snow or snowdrops. color of innocence, purity. And this white light is filling your body, filling the cells in your body, purifying them, protecting. So all the places you have visited during this Zen Yoga practice now are receiving white light And now gently bringing all the benefits from the practice together, allowing them to percolate in your body, to bring all the positive changes into your physical body.
connect to the room you are in. And just feel the support of the floor underneath you. And start to gently move your toes and your fingers. Wiggling them. Bringing a nice yawn or a stretch. It's nice ways to awaken the body and in your own time find a way to turn to your right side. So you can cuddle and you can just give yourself a nice hug, warm embrace. And from here, finding a comfortable way to sit on your mat, cross-legged with your spine nice and long, shoulders relaxed, with your eyes closed. So keeping this nice awareness and focus inwards. Bring the palms of your hands together at your heart center and connecting to this white light. White light filling in your heart. The innocence of love and gratitude. Just connecting to this sensation and feeling it into your physical body. And you can bow to yourself first for showing up to your practice today. And to each other for practicing yoga together in the community. Mm. Namaste. Mm-hmm.